everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using products from my beauty boxes from June 2019. Before I started the camera, I did put on my base of my face because I didn't really get any of these products this month. So I did use one of the products from the beauty boxes. I used this one right here, which is the No Problem Prime Essence Calendula Officinalis Flower Extract from Touch and Soul. It's just a primer. I use this, like I said, I put it on before I turn the camera on. I figured you guys weren't all that interested in watching me just rub primer in my face. So uh, these other products, I didn't have any of these in my boxes, which is why I already had them on. So I am using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation that is in my Project Pan this year. I used the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. This is their original one, not their newer one. And then powder, I used my two Physicians Formula powders. This is the, I never remember the names of these, Mineral Face Powder and Translucent. This is the Mineral correcting powder and translucent uh, those are also in my project pan this year on my cheeks I'm using the hula light from benefit which is just a light bronzer which is on my cheeks and then I'm using the Laura Geller baked blush and brighten in pink buttercream Let's see if I can get this open that's the shade right there on my cheeks so that's everything that I have on so far everything else I believe other than mascara, which I'm going to be using this Doll 10 Illegalize, which I got in a previous beauty box. Um, everything else, I believe, is from this month. And the No Problem, I believe, is from my BoxyCharm. Sorry, I have all my papers down here in front of me. It is from my BoxyCharm. So I figured what we would do is have this be a little bit of a chatty video because I didn't post any videos last week. Um, except for my Foundation Friday. And you guys might be wondering, what happened to you, Jessica? I'm going to be using this little highlighter from Kaja. It's the Mochi Glow Bouncy Blendable Highlighter in the shade Toy Alien 01. And where did I get this from? This was actually from my Sephora Play, believe it or not. Uh, that's actually, I, I might sound super surprised. It's because I am, because recently here, my Sephora Play has not been fantastic so I'm gonna be putting this on as my highlighter but I didn't post any videos last week because I was on vacation and I was trying to do a lot of work for work if you guys aren't aware if you're new to my channel um, I have a full-time job which is typically about 50 hours a week somewhere in there between 45 and 50 hours a week sometimes more sometimes a little bit less no less than 40 but it's usually around 45 to 50 hours per week that I am working my full-time job. Um, I have three channels on YouTube. I have this one, Epic Beauty Fail, which you're watching right now. And then I also have a food channel with my family called Omni's Eat. And that channel, I talk a lot about... Um, food, obviously. It used to be Omni's Eat Vegan. We used to be exclusively vegan food. Now... I talk a lot about keto um, because I did, within the last year, uh, lose 75 pounds on keto. I'm still trying to lose, although my weight loss has slowed down um, where I was losing about five to seven pounds a month. Now I'm only losing around three pounds a month. Um, yeah, so it has slowed down, which you know, it's okay. I started a new medication as well. And that seems to be making me, my, my weight loss slow down at, as well. Um, and that's okay. All right. Um, so that's my Omnisee channel. And then I also have a daily vlog channel, which I film every single day. Um, I don't post every single day. Sometimes I'll be a couple days behind depending on what my full-time job is doing or what my other requirements or needs are on YouTube. Sometimes I get behind on my vlog channel, um, but I do film every single day and, and I usually get caught up and then, you know, I fall behind again, caught up. Anyway, um, I'm going to do my brows. I got this from the Brow Gal in medium brown 04. This was from, what was this from? Do you guys remember what it was from? I have all my cards sitting here. I should have written this up before digging them all out. Oh, it was from my Allure Beauty Box. So I know, I think they only sent out the medium brown shade because I didn't see anyone get anything other than medium brown. Um, it works for me. 
I usually will use a blonde or a light brown shade, but this medium brown is not super deep as far as I can tell. Um, anyway, I'm not very good at doing my brows, so there's that. And I have really full brows anyway, so I just kind of, when I do them, I just kind of fill in the front here where my hairs are a little bit lighter, and then I just kind of fill it all in just to, to make it more of, uh, of a uniform color, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, so I do have three YouTube channels. I have two children, I have two dogs, and a husband, and a full-time job, and last week we went on vacation, and I had not had an opportunity to pre-film anything. Um, I just honestly ran out of time with everything that I was trying to do, trying to wrap up for work, and, and, and everything, because I'm actually taking two weeks of vacation. I'm filming this video Saturday night, June 28th, um, and it will be posting sometime this coming week, so happy whatever day you're seeing this. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to be either Tuesday or Thursday. I'm not sure which day. So if it's Thursday, happy 4th of July. If it's Tuesday, I hope you are having a fantastic 4th of July week. Um, anyhow, um, I, I did decide to take two weeks of vacation this year. We went last week. We were in Maine, the beautiful state of Maine. If you're from Maine, hello. I'm very envious of you. I've never been there in the winter. So maybe it's not as great in the winter. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me in the comment section down below if you're from Maine. Oh my golly, I just had an errant eyebrow hair. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the second time I've been to Maine. I need to move my, my mirror closer to do my brows, sorry. Um, I, I went to Maine once before and I went there on business, unfortunately. So it was in the summer. It was in June. About seven years ago, I went, but I was in a, a work meeting. So I was in work all day long. I only got to do things in the evening, and I didn't really get to do a whole lot. So we went on vacation this year to Maine. It was super fun. I really am, I fell in love. I mean, I, I like, I, I love traveling. I love seeing different places and everything, so... Anyway, I did see get to see a lot of Portland, Maine specifically. We didn't go in the rest of the state. I know that if you live in the rest of the state, it's a huge state. And uh, we actually went on one of those Ride the Ducks tours. And the, the guy was telling us that I think the whole state of Maine has like 1.5 million or 1.6 million, something like that. And like a quarter or a third of those live in the greater Portland area. So anyway, we did go to Portland. And... It was beautiful and we spent five days in Portland and honestly it wasn't enough. We went to Boston for a day on our way up and then we went to Providence, Rhode Island. I know at least one of you guys that comments on my videos is from Rhode Island, hello. Um, I don't wanna say your name, I'm not sure if you would feel comfortable with me saying your name, but I know at least one of you guys that comments on my videos is from Rhode Island. So I don't know if you're in Providence. I do know Rhode Island is very tiny. Um, we stayed out near the airport and we were only there for one day. So we really didn't get to see a lot of, of Providence, to be honest with you. We pretty much stayed in our hotel um, cause we didn't get there till a little bit later in the afternoon and we went out to dinner. I can't even remember the restaurant we went out to dinner in, but, um, it was out near the airport and then we went home the next morning. So we really didn't spend much time at all. We spent more time in Boston than we did in, in um, Port in Providence. Um, but Maine was beautiful. It was absolutely fantastic. I considered filming a video, like a shop with me video at Marshall's because there was a Marshall's right near my hotel. And I did actually go to Marshall's, but to be honest with you, there was not a lot of makeup there. So I didn't film. Um, I did walk around, look at it, and I just wasn't really impressed with their selection. So I decided against filming. All right. What do I want to use next? Um... I guess eyes, right? I don't have any eye primer on. I'm not going to put any on because honestly, my eye primer that I would, would typically have used, um, which is in my project pan is actually in my, my travel makeup bag. So I don't have it here with me and I did not unpack my makeup. So it's downstairs. All right. I did get two eyeshadow palettes this month. I got this one from Tarte, which is BU naturally. And I got this one from Ipsy, which is Tetris. The, uh, Tetris one here is bright and colorful and the one from Tarte 
has not. So, although I did do a look with both of these when I when I did my unboxings, uh, the the te Tetris one came in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and my Tarte came in my Boxy Charm. I do not get the big Boxy Charm. What is it called? Boxy Charm bonus? I, I don't know what it's called. The big box. I don't get that because for me, it has not proven to me that it's worth the extra money just yet. So, you know, maybe they'll continue to make it better and I will at some point be like, okay, now is the time. But as of right now, I'm not, I'm not really interested in, in doing that upgrade. So anyway, like I said, the Tarte is from my BoxyCharm and the Tetris one is from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I definitely have a lot of shades in the t the tarp shade or tarp palette that I can use for my base and my crease which is what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to go into the cream shade here and I have no idea what the shade is it actually has like just the, the circle with the names on it I could guess that it's crystallized maybe maybe it's earthy I don't know I have no idea it smells really good I'll tell you that it smells really good um, and I know, you know, to, to put a cream shade on the lid is, is really typically what somebody would do if they're doing like an, uh, setting their primer. And I do have other eyeshadow primers. I'm just being lazy, to be honest with you. Um, but I like to do it anyway, whether I'm using eyeshadow primer or not, just to kind of give my entire eyelid a, an even base because I do, especially during the summer months, have, um, oily eyelids. They're not horrible, but still I like to give it like a, a nice base to, to start from so but um, we actually went to Maine with no plan like we had a hotel um, we had all our hotels booked but we didn't go with any other plan I'm gonna do this like milk chocolate shade right here I'm gonna put that in my crease um, so we ended up doing a couple of things. We did ride the ducks. Like I said, we went to the, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Golly gee was heck. Can I remember anything right now? Sorry. I'm like already thinking ahead till tomorrow when we're leaving for the second leg of our vacation, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, I actually posted a picture on my, um, Instagram. Let me see if I can bring it up. Where's my Instagram page? Okay. It's the Portland Observatory. If you're not following me on Instagram, that's okay. I don't post a lot of pictures, but if you'd like to, it's Epic Beauty Fail on Instagram. It's the Portland Observatory in Maine. And I didn't post a picture actually of the observatory, just my view from the observatory. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it is actually a tower which was used when you know there was no ra uh, ship radios and uh, the guy who built it um would go up there in his little tower and he sold a subscription service that the boat owners could pay him five dollars a year and he would sit up in the tower and he would he had um flags for each of the boats that the owners would leave on the on the on the uh, boats, and the the boats would fly their flags. He would know which boat it was coming in, and he would send a message to the boat owner so that the owner could prepare for like unpacking their ship. Because um, apparently, when he would see them, it would be about three to four hours advance notice that the boat owner would get to you know get a crew together to to un un. Uh, unpack the ship and so on and so forth. So it was kind of neat. You got really good views all around and, um, yeah, that was neat. So we did that. We also did, what else did we do? Oh, um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow is from Portland and his house that he grew up in is still there and standing. It is a museum. Now we went there. That was fun. Um, trying to think what I want to do next. I'm going to go in with Game Changer, which is the yellow shade. I'm going to put that all over my lid. I don't know why. I just am. Um, I've been thinking that yellows look nice on me lately. I could be totally wrong, but it's okay. Um, so we went to that that location. We went shopping. Like, there's a really nice, like, downtown area. 
that we walked up and down it and went into a bunch of little shops. Um, we ended up not buying a whole lot of stuff while we were there, but we did go shopping, window shopping, which was fun. Uh, we went to a lot of restaurants. Um, I don't really eat seafood, but my husband and my 19 year old son, Neil, does. They both like seafood. And um, they ate a lot of Maine lobster. Again, not for me, but they enjoy it. So that's fine. Uh, what else did we do? We pretty much did, did stuff like every single day that we were up there. Oh, we went and, and looked at a lot of lighthouses. I think we went to see like four different lighthouses, I think. I think it was four. Um, now we didn't go up in any of the lighthouses, obviously, but we did go and see the lighthouses, so. Okay, what do I wanna do next? I think what I'm gonna do next is put Game Night, which is the shimmery yellow over top of Game Changer and see how that looks. It's like a really shimmery yellow. I don't know how well it's gonna show up. I might just end up using my finger because I did not dig out a setting spray to spray it with. So let's do that. Look at that shade. That is super pretty. Let's see how it translates. Super golden. Um, but Portland was absolutely amazingly beautiful. It, it really was. Um, you're When you're seeing this video, I am either still on my second leg of my vacation or I am on the way home. Um, we are going to Williamsburg, Virginia for the second leg of our vacation. And that one we have planned out a little bit more than we had Maine. Maine, we just were like, we're going to relax. We're just going to go. We're going to relax. We're going to see what where we get taken each day. And that's all there is going to be to it. So that's what we did. Um, then we, so next week in Williamsburg, Virginia, we are going to um, see Colonial Williamsburg, which if you've never been there or heard of it, it is a, um, uh, like it's a recreation of colonial times in Williamsburg. Um, we're going there for a day and we're also going to Bush Gardens, uh, Williamsburg and water country we're going to for a day as well um i used that blue game over in my look the last time and i really didn't like how it turned out so i'm staying away from that shade not because it's ugly or bad or anything like that just because i am not talented enough to use it so we're gonna go back over to the tart shade i'm gonna go into the deeper brown and i'm gonna put that in my outer corner and along my lower lash line um so yeah, so we do have plans for Virginia. Like I said, we're gonna go to, to uh, Bush Gardens. We're gonna go to Water Country. We're gonna go to Colonial Williamsburg. We're gonna actually be there on the 4th of July, which like I said, you might be seeing this on that day. Um, so it, it should be interesting. I think we're gonna be in Colonial Williamsburg on the 4th of July, um, cause we're going to the other parks earlier in the week, so we'll see but it should be it should be a good time um we're, we're not we're not leaving our time as open down there we are planning to go to virginia beach on one day actually the last day we're down there we're planning on going to virginia beach and then heading home so that should be fun again you might actually be seeing this when we're heading home depending on what day it goes up i'm not sure what day it's going to go up yet um so anyhow, I don't know that this is, it seems like this is taking away that golden shade. Maybe I'm using the wrong brush. It's possible. This is a small taper blending, so it should be okay to use for these purposes. I am not an artist, or at least a makeup artist. I love artistic things. I'm just not always very good at them. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so what are your guys' plans for the summer? Are you going on vacation? Are you staying at a staycation? Honestly, if it was up to my husband, we would stay on a staycation every single year. Um, he does not like vacations. Um, and it's not even that, like, he doesn't like 
being there. He he very much enjoyed Maine. Um, he just doesn't like the packing and then the driving and then he doesn't like to fly either. Um, but we drove to Maine and we dr we we're driving to Virginia. But like he doesn't like the driving, and he doesn't like the packing, and he doesn't like the unpacking and the laundry and and everything that comes along with the post vacation time. If that makes sense. Um, I'm going to switch brushes because I'm having a hard time getting this to show up. I'm just going to go back to the one that I used, the on the yellow. See if maybe I can put a little bit more down with this one. Um, but he does enjoy them like when he's actually on the vacation, if that makes sense. So, uh, we also took our dogs. If you are not aware, I know you guys have seen them on some previous videos and you've seen, heard them barking, um, on some other videos that I've done. Um, they, uh, we have two dogs. We have a larger one. that's about 40 pounds. She, I don't know. We don't know what she is. We got her from a rescue as a puppy. Um, but she's golden and she is beautiful and she is an amazing, amazing dog. Um, my son Nicholas has autism and she is, is his dog, so to speak. I mean, she's the family dog, but she takes care of him. When I say she takes care of him, she, she takes care of him. She's, she's very, very good with him. And then we have the little one, which is Wednesday. I, I don't think I told you her name is Buttercup. Um, and then we have the little one, which is only nine pounds and her name is Wednesday. And she is a little troublemaker. <laughs> She is a troublemaker. Um, we love her to death, but she's a troublemaker. Now she, we do know she is a Boston Terrier mixed with a pug. She is a brindle dog and she, everybody always like, oh, look at the little puppy. We've been asked if she's like a baby boxer, um, but no, she's fully grown at nine pounds. Like I said, Boston Terrier pug mix and we love her to death, but she is a troublemaker. Absolutely 100% a troublemaker. Um, and she's really my older son's dog, my 19 year old's dog. So anyway, um, I am filming this in the evening. It is 8:35. Uh, so this, this makeup's not going to be on for very long, but, um, I am filming this in the evening. We are leaving bright and early tomorrow morning for the second leg of our vacation. So I'm going to be editing this maybe in the car, maybe in the evening tonight, maybe tomorrow night. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to edit it at some point and it's going to go up some point this week, but I am taking the time today to pre-film some videos for this coming week. Like my face mask video with John. Um, it, we just filmed that prior to starting this video. So if you've seen that pop up in your feed, that was just filmed a couple minutes ago, but I always enjoy doing that video. I know we don't get a lot of view viewers on that video, um, but I like just t spending the time with John, even if it's only like 10 or 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Um, I, I do enjoy spending that time with him, just like hanging out and doing a face mask together. <laughs> Some people might find it weird, but I enjoy it. Um, we don't always have a lot of time. My, my husband is a teacher. He is a special education teacher and actually he is going to be teaching summer school, extended school year here. Um, when we get back from vacation, the week of, uh, after July 4th is when his extended school year starts. So he's going to be very, very busy the rest of the summer. Well, the rest of July, I should say. Um, and then the first week in August, we have like a family reunion we're going to. So it's a busy, busy, summer. Where did the little plastic disc go? I literally just put the little plastic disc in and it must have fallen right back out because it was gone when I reopened it. All right, I'm done with this one. I am going to put a little bit more of that gold on my lids because when I was blending the dark brown shade into my crease, the gold, the game night shade kind of like disappeared. So I'm going to just put this back into liven that up a little bit more. Um, yeah, our family vacation, we're going to be going out to New Jersey the first week in August, um, to Ocean City, New Jersey. If anyone is familiar with Ocean City, New Jersey, um, I know some of the folks that I, I watch on YouTube, uh, just Anne is out in that area. She's not like Ocean City. I think she's closer to Atlantic City. I think is what she said. Um, 
And then Abadabs is out in that area as well. And again, I don't know if she's actually in Ocean City. I just know she's in New Jersey somewhere. And New Jersey is not a huge state. <laughs> so I hope if you're in New Jersey and you're watching me, I'm not offending you. They're just not a huge state. Um, my grandfather was actually born and raised in New Jersey. My dad's dad was born and raised in New Jersey. So uh, my roots come from there. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these two away. I know it's kind of a very simple eye look, but I'm not a makeup artist. All right, I'm going to put some mascara on, and I did get an eyeliner. I got this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It is a felt tip, and I'm not very good at that. So I'm just going to put some eyeliner on, or some mascara on. Like I said, this is the Doll 10 Illegal Eyes. I got this a few months ago in a subscription box. So we're just going to put some of this on. But Anyway, I would love to hear what your guys' plans are this summer. Um, next summer, I'm thinking we might do like a week and then have a week of a staycation to get some stuff done around the house. Um, even though John's a teacher in the summer, he always has um, extended school year. So he doesn't have a lot of time to do like a honey-do list, if that makes sense. Um, and my son Nicholas who's been on the channel before is 12. He just turned 12 at the end of May and he is off in the summer, obviously. So they have uh, amusement park passes. So they go to the amusement park in the summer and then we have pool passes as well. So they do try to have some fun in the summer and you know what I mean? Enjoy themselves as well. So it's not just all work and no play. I forgot to put an inner corner highlight in so let me get back in that uh, palette. Okay. I like this mascara. I don't use it very often, but I, I like it. I promise I just have too many mascaras open at any given time, uh, to be honest with you. I'm going to go back into the Tarte palette. Um, I'm just going to use this, this brush which doesn't seem to have anything on it. I'm going to go into the yellow gold shade that's on the side, the shimmer, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Yeah, see there's no brown still hanging around. That brown shade, even though it's a deep shade, really doesn't transfer very well on the eyes, I don't think. That's just my personal opinion. Take it for what it is. It's just my opinion for a non-makeup artist on YouTube. Anyway, um, I made a, a comment. I actually posted on my Facebook page. Not, I don't have an, well, I have an Epic Big Beauty Fail Facebook page, but I hardly ever post on it, to be honest with you. Um, but I, on my personal Facebook page, I said, you know, last summer, summer of 2018, my family actually went to Hawaii. It was the first time I've ever been to Hawaii. We um, had a special thing that we got through like a timeshare that we got like a discounted rate and everything. We don't actually own a timeshare, but it was one of those things where you try us out. Anyway, long story short, we went to Hawaii for a discounted rate for the hotel and everything. And, um, we never had that opportunity before we took it. We went to Hawaii, we went to San Diego. So I was in the Western most U S state in 2018. And then this summer I was in the easternmost U S state in 2019. I just thought that was interesting. It was not planned. Um, like this, when we started thinking about what we wanted to do this summer for vacation, I was like, what do you want to do? And John's like, Hey, let's go to Maine. So there, there we are. So we went to Maine. All right. I got a bunch of lip products. Well, not a bunch. I got four lip products, right? I got a lip liner in my boxy charm from dirty little secret. I got this Trustique lip color from Ipsy. I think my Ipsy Glam Bag. Yeah, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I got this uh, gloss from my Allure box. And then I got my, this one's empty. I don't know where it went to. It's here somewhere. Um, I think I might've actually packed this to take it with me in my travel box. I think so. But this is the Dominique Cosmetics gloss in peach tea. I got that on my BoxyCharm. But again, like I said, it's not here because I think it's in my travel box. I'm going to go ahead and use this dirty little secret one in the shade pale pink. 
I did not like this the first time. Let's see, I'm gonna warm this up on my hand a little bit. My issue is that it is so hard. So let's go ahead and see if warming it up helps at all. All right, so I'm not a big fan of the formula of that and I'm not a big fan of the shade either, to be honest with you. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead into the Trustique lip color. It's, the, it's a dark shade and that's just fine. It's just the way it is. So it's a, what shade does, does it have a shade name on it? Belize Bordeaux. So it, what's interesting about this is that it actually has a matte color on the top and then in the bottom it has a gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on over top of that lip liner. I know they don't match, it's okay. It's not as dark as it looks in the crayon, which is kind of sad. I wish it was. I wish it was darker. I really love like dark vampy lipstick, even though I never feel like I can like pull it off. When John and I met, I used to wear dark vampy lipstick all the time. I just did. All right, I'm gonna put the balm over top. I like the balm. I think the balm is actually really nice. Um, I'm gonna try to put this lip gloss on as well. This is from Floss. And it's just literally a clear, clear gloss. Mmm, that's nice. And it smells nice too. It smells like candy. I'm going to clean off my doe foot because it is stained dark red right now. And I'm gonna try to get a lot of that off because I don't like it when it gets stained. Maybe I'm just slightly OCD <laughs> or a lot OCD. I don't know. I don't know. It's still stained, but that's okay. It's just gonna have to be okay. Anyway, I think that is my entire look. That is everything that I got. I did not get a lot of makeup this month, which is um, okay. Sometimes uh, I have actually canceled subscription boxes before because it's gotten too heavy on the skincare. Um, I used to have Glossy Box, which I canceled because it got too heavy on skincare. I used to have Look Fantastic, which I loved like a year and a half ago. And then they went totally skincare with like maybe every once in a while one piece of makeup, um, which I didn't really, I wasn't really fond of. It was a really cool box if you like skincare, but I have so much skincare, so much skincare. So anyway, that is everything I got in my boxes this month, or at least everything that I can put on my face at one given time from all my boxes this month. I really like that golden shade that's on my lids. The deep brown that I put in my outer corner and my lower lash line from that Tarte palette I do not like. Tarte, le Tarte eyeshadows for me are kind of hit and miss. Sometimes I really do like them, sometimes I don't. Um, more often than not, I struggle with them because they are typically shadows that I need to really build up, which is great for like a, a newer user but I don't have, you know, hours to try to build up this dark brown. And even like on my lid here, it's kind of patchy, but again, that could be just my lid because I'm getting older. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button. I'm so close to hitting 800 subscribers. I would really, really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed yet to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I am planning a giveaway at 800 subscribers. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. What are you guys doing this summer? Are you guys taking a vacation? Are you staying at home? Or are you just working through the summer? I would love to hear your thoughts. If I didn't have a teacher as a husband, honestly, I would probably take vacation like the end of September every year. <laughs> um, because all the kids are back in school and you know, n not now because I still have young, well, I still have one young kid. Um, but like in a couple of years when he's an adult, um, I would probably choose to take a vacation in like the off season, so to speak. So Anyway, if you're wondering why I have no rings on, if you guys typically see me, I usually have a bunch of rings on. I don't have any rings on today because they are packed away right now because of our vacation time. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.